The state of Hawaii is moving forward with a plan to improve access to the popular Polo Lu Valley Trail in North Kohala. We were applying as a co-applicant. On Friday, the Board of Land and Natural Resources approved to join the Surety Kohala Corporation as a co-applicant in a parcel consolidation and resubdivision that would result in the eventual construction of an off-site comfort station and parking area near the Valley Lookout. Well, they're going to take one of those lots of record, create a five-acre parcel, and give it to us to help solve the parking and restroom issue at Pololu. Land board members discussed the plan during a virtual meeting. Uh, when I was going to Pololu, my parents lived over in uh, Kapa'au in the 90s. And I used to take my kids down there and the six parking spots at the end of the road, and they were never full. Now, the line of cars will go a quarter mile down the way, parked on both sides of the road. Um, there's no restrooms and it's a real problem. So. Um, We've been working with uh, reps from the Big Island to try to fix this thing in the community. And uh, this is the fix. We've, we'd put in a parking lot and a restroom. Surety agreed to help us out with that, with a donation. So this is kind of the, the way to do all that. This is an issue we've been working on for a number of years. Um, our Hawaii Island District has been working with the landowners around Pololu Valley to try and figure out a solution to address the parking concerns and the real high interest in hiking into Pololu Valley, which is within our forest reserve. Um, Surety has offered to donate a parcel um, of their property to support us in the development of a parking lot. Um, in order to do that though, they will need to do a subdivision of some of their parcels that's up along the rim of the valley. They also have a parcel that's contained kind of within an inholding within the forest reserve down on the valley floor on Pololu Valley. Those that, that's the parcel that has the lots of record. Um, so in order for them to move those to the valley rim, it needs to be a contiguous area, which is why we would need to enter into the consolidation and resubdivision with surety in order to provide for those lots to be able to move. Um, there won't be any changes happening to our existing parcel, to our property, as part of the consolidation and resubdivision. But once that's finalized, then Surety will donate that five acre lot up on the rim for the parking area, as well as that parcel that's the inholding in the, the valley surrounded by the forest reserve. Uh, this is the first step in trying to facilitate this land transaction. Um, we will still need to go through a variety of due diligence items before we can accept either of the parcels, um, but that will come after we have those uh, that subdivision completed. Just curious, uh, has the residents on the top of the valley been notified or, or been part of the discussion like the Sprout family? I'm just curious. <clears throat> Yeah, we did. Uh, we went over there and had a meeting with them and, uh, you know, walked down to the valley, did the whole thing, you know, had lunch with them and then went down and had a, a complete community meeting uh, with uh, the folks in the community on this issue. Aloha, good word. Uh, Steve Burkfeld, Division of Forest and Wildlife on the Big Island. Yeah, we met with um, the Sprouts and the Headlands. And like Dave said, we had lunch. We did a tour down into the valley with uh, then representative Cindy Evans, who kind of was the one that approached Surety and and asked if they had any, if they would be willing to help. And this is kind of where we've ended up, where Surety uh, wanted to to participate and provide a solution to some of the issues at Pololu, but. The Sprouts have been involved, uh, the community has been involved in the whole process. Okay, uh, Mr. Chantel, did you want to add anything? Um, well, okay, so, 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 so my name is Bill Chantel, I'm the Executive Vice President of Surety Kohala Corp. Um, and, and anyway, thanks, thanks for letting me uh, speak a little bit here. But uh, uh, Steve uh, Berkfeld did a good job of uh, basic, and Irene did a good job of explaining more or less where we're at uh, with this donation. Um, just to give you a little bit of background, in about 2017, um, I was contacted by the North Kohala Community Development uh, Action Committee folks, uh, John Winters and uh, Tony Whittington. And they've been gauging uh, the situation out at Pololu for, for many years, as, as have many of us. 
and they brought to my attention the possibility of trying to solve some of the safety and sanitation issues out there with a you know with the donation of land and um uh, if, so we've gone from 2017 from the Koala CDP uh, uh, involvement, um, uh, Cindy Evans getting involved, uh, Cindy pulling in DNR, um, DOT, pulling in a lot of parties into this to try to get to this, um, I guess, situation out of public taken care of. So, so here we are three years later, and we're at the point where, you know, surety, we're, we're very open to the idea of making the, the the necessary land donations to solve the problems out there, and it's it's very satisfying uh, to see that this is coming together at this time. Um, just to give another little bit of perspective on this, I've got a set of plans on my desk dated from 1970. Um, they're approved, signed by the mayor, um, um, looking to solve the problems out in Polu via land donations and whatnot. And for 50 years, nothing happened. So what I'd like to do before I retire, which is coming up, is to solve those problems. So uh, that's what we're trying to do here, um, supply the land that the communities ask for to try to solve a big problem out at Polo. So that's my, that's my two cents uh, in a nutshell. <laughs> Thank you very much. I think it's great that we're going to do something about the parking and comfort station situation at Polo Lookout, which has become, you know, one of the most popular hiking attractions and it's a beautiful it's a it's a wonderful hike and i'm sure that the parking there causes a lot of problems for the driveway of the sprout home uh, among other things um so we would get a piece of property across the street from the mule station this is bill uh yes, yes. that is correct yeah that's about the best place that you could put a substantial, you know, a parking area that would take care of the demand that's there. Um, and I just want to make sure that the, the ultimate configuration of the lots is really up to surety and except for the, the state parcel is, is uh, up to surety and um, County of Hawaii that the, the state is not um, dictating how the how the lots are eventually allocated um, in the sub in the final subdivision, is that a fair statement? I would say uh, yes, that's a, a fair statement. I'll I'll let Bill respond to that as well. Um, the state parcel that'll be a part of that consolidation subdivision won't be changing at all. Um, yeah, but the final configuration of what the subdivision looks like on the rim will be led by surety. We'll be a co-applicant and can be part of the conversation, but that is a call between the county and surety. Okay. Uh, this is Bill, uh, that is correct. Um, it's gonna be um, the county that's gonna be making the call in terms of the configurations of the lot, the, the, the usual PCRS um, uh, process with the county. Okay, if there are no further questions, somebody want to move to approve as submitted? Uh, I move to approve. Right. Second. Second, all in favor say aye. 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 